Hey guys, it's Baby it's here, and welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Trent. And who else do we have here? In the call. Ben. ben. Who's that? Is that Smashing V? Yeah, <laughs> the, Smashing solid, v. <laughs> the solid the uh, solid name. And then we've got Downey. 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 I'm Downey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Trent, for that lovely intro. <laughs> um, now I don't know what to say, because normally I say that in the at the start of the video, but... Um, I don't know if it's weird for me to say, but hey guys, if you're to welcome back to another video, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so in that Skype call was, uh, Chris, no, yeah, Chris, Ben, Donny, and, uh, Trent. I'm sure you guys know who each one of those players are, um, you know. But basically, we went to Next last night, we had a whole bunch of fun, so in this video I'm going to be kind of telling you guys about, you know, the events that unfolded last night, and a few of the exciting moments and things like that, and a few of the uh, a few of the depressing moments on my behalf, because I lost a Sagittarian bloody short bow from someone, and you know, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Basically, last night, uh, there was a few of us that, you know, haven't really done Next in a little while, like obviously I've done a bit of Next it before, but since RS3 came out, I haven't actually done much nexting because I've just been focused on getting the max cape and getting the completionist cape. So I've really, um, you know, kind of neglected essentially um, any PVM whatsoever. But you know, last night it was good because I decided to take a break from Livid Farm because um, at the start I actually wasn't going to leave Livid Farm. I thought I'd just take a little break and go to next and see, you know, see if we get any drops at all, um, which we actually did. We did do, we did get one drop and it was a Torva gloves. It was a 16 mil um, drop and we got four mil a piece. So you know that was all right. That paid for my Dragon Keepsake. <laughs> that paid for my Dragon Keepsake bong that I bought. But you know, um, yeah. So. I don't know if I should go on this story or the other story first, but okay, let's just start with the dragon, the dragon keepsake story, shall we? Um, so the everyone that was in the Skype call uh, knows that I'm a complete noob at this game because obviously you know max cape doesn't mean much uh, in regard to how good you are at RuneScape. Um, because last night I was, you know, I didn't actually know you could buy um, buy dragon keepsake kits uh, pieces or keys with bonds, so. Um, a few of my mates told me that I could do that, and then I would just went to buy. I just went to buy one, so I spent 5.5 mil on a bond, and then I ended up going into the Solomon store or the Tits McGee store. I don't even know what the store's called, but I ended up going in there, and then it turns out you can buy a bloody keepsake for 20 like for 33k loyalty points. And I've got 260k loyalty points. So first of all, I didn't even have to spend 5.5 mil, and second of all. I've got a spare rune, like 270 million rune coins. I don't even know how many rune, rune coins I actually have, but it's it's enough to buy me a dragon keepsake. So whenever I get that completionist cape, um, I'm probably just going to use those rune coin rune coins, or I don't even know what's going to happen there. But you know that was a basic, that was a waste of um, 5.5 mil because I could just use the loyalty points. But yeah, as you're seeing on screen, it's it's kind of a good run of next because we're getting used to it eventually. Well. When we started out doing next, we didn't. We managed to get get into the Zaros phase, and then we all just died on the Zaros phase, and we did that about three to four times. So you know we weren't the very good at next, but at this stage, we can average two kills probably, and you know sometimes we'll occasionally get the three kills, and you know we're leaning more towards that three kills now. So you know thank you very much, Don. Trent, Chris, and Ben. But if you guys want to see some sort of PVM series, maybe next, I don't know, something. I might do a PVM video every week or something like that. Or I might just bring you some more of these, um, essentially, commentary videos where I'm just commentating over me doing some PVM in the background. And uh, maybe give you some insight on, base, uh, for example, how to tank next. Because I'm getting a bit better at tanking next. I'm still not... Um, I'm not really that good at tanking next just yet because I still need to learn, um, you know, when to use certain abilities. Because last night I actually died in one of the frozen prisons, which was uh, which was really bad. But generally, I won't die in those frozen prisons because I'll I'll use the anticipate before um, next puts the prison on me, um, or I'll use freedom, or I'll use rejuvenate, or I'll use barricade. So they're the four. Uh, generally, Next will only freeze you in a prison four times maximum, so they're the four abilities that will get you out of those situations. But uh, last night I didn't get so lucky because I forgot to anticipate beforehand, and I didn't have freedom activated. So you know I got hit like 5.5k, uh, 5 5.5k health, and I just got absolutely dropped. But after Next, we actually went to do some dungeoneering, and uh, this is where the kind of sad story starts because. Um, I, yesterday I was doing all the cults, 
just to get the uh, just to get the trio to get the Sagittarius Shortbow, and then we started to do some Dungeoneering because I was like, you know, why not take a little break from next and let's do a little bit of Dungeoneering. So we did that, but then uh, we got to the trio at last. So I was like, yes, Sagittarius Shortbow. But then I think it was Ben that was in the call, and he's kind of just like, nah, I want one as well. So we got to the trio, the Sagittarian bow was actually dropped by the trio, and then we were going to play Scissors, Paper, Rock, but you know, in RuneScape you can't really do Scissors, Paper, Rock. So we ended up, um, I think it was Trent, um, thought of a number between 1 and 50, he then uh, messaged that to the guy that had the Sagittarian short bow, which is also, I think it was Chris actually, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, he messaged him a number, and that number was 33. And uh, of course, I guessed 40. And Tits McGee Benjamin, I think his name is Benjamin, it's either Ben or Benjamin, I'm going to call him Benjamin Titties McGee. Uh, he guessed number 37. So that was really, really unlucky on my behalf. So he got the Sagittarian short bow, fair and square. Uh, but, you know, that was a little exciting event that, uh, you know, that occurred last night. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this sort of video. If you did, please give it a like and leave a comment below if you guys like nexting or dungeoneering with friends. Uh, apart from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in, in the next video.